Hey, what's up everybody? Ramey here and today what we're talking about is an alternative exercise for the overhead press. Um, something that I do because of a previous shoulder injury, but it's something I want to show you. It's called the Viking Press. Um, I'm going to show you how I set it up because it's really simple to set up. Um, pretty inexpensive to buy the components that I'm going to show you that I use to set it up as well. Um, and it's a really great exercise, works the shoulders really well, all kinds of different angles to hit the shoulders at too, and it's a great alternative for the overhead press. Um, I've got a busted shoulder in my right shoulder, I've got AC arthritis going on in my other shoulder, um, I've had rotator cuff injuries, all kinds of stuff. Overhead press is out of the question for me, mostly because as I go up, there's a huge chance of dislocation for me. Um, it also bothers my AC joint. So this is a great alternative th that allows me to basically shoulder press. So first let me show you um, me doing the exercise and then let's talk about how I set it up. So all that I'm going to do, I actually have an axle bar here and I'll show you all the components first, but I pop some weight onto my axle bar and I'll just put on some light weight to see, to see from the example. And I shoulder press. Just showing you some different angles here. And I'll show you my entire setup here to show you kind of what's going on. But that's it. Super easy. First, I guess, let me talk about my setup and then let me explain why it's better for your shoulder than the, the overhead press. Um, so the first piece component that I have here, I guess, is a squat rack. So you do need a squat rack for this exercise. Um, Got to have a squat rack so that you can do it. Next thing is pin and pipes. I use my pin and pipes to rest my bar onto. The next thing is called a pin and pipes pivot. Um, I bought that at Titan Fitness. I'll show you what it, you can see what it looks like right here. Um, but I bought the pivot at Titan Fitness. It's like 20, 30 bucks, um, super cheap item. And then my bar that I'm using is called an axle bar, but you can use a regular barbell. I just use an axle bar because they're cheap and I don't care if it gets scraped up. These are also cheap. You can get these for like 50 to $70. Um, and then the other thing that I use is a landmine handle. I got this one. These, they sell these on Amazon. I got this one at Titan. They have thin grip, fat grip, and you can grip it all different ways to do the shoulder press. Um, so that's my setup. I got a rack. I've got my pin and pipes. I've got my, and I already have the rack and pin and pipe. So really all I had to buy for this was the axle bar this landmine and the pivot all together i probably spent around a hundred dollars for the setup which isn't bad considering it's a full overhead press movement all right now let me talk about why this is so great so first of all you can see my setup here notice how my starting point is a little angled upwards that means as i'm going through and doing this movement my shoulder is actually going forward just a little bit almost um like an overhead press slash incline which is way, way, way better for my shoulder because the dangerous spot for me is my shoulder going backwards um, into dislocation mode. So that's why this exercise is so great. I can actually raise up uh, the back here or lower this down so that it's more flat. I can set it at all, any different angle that you'd want to. I purposely have mine angled like this. But it's so much better for the shoulder because what you're doing is you are taking away, you're still stabilizing but you're taking away that ability for the bar to go back behind your head, which is super problematic for those of you with shoulder injuries. Some of you, uh, depending on your shoulder injury, you might not be able to go past your nose or eyes, have problems with your rotator cuff. Overhead press is just an extremely uncomfortable position for a lot of people's shoulders for a lot of different reasons but especially those with uh, AC joint injuries or previous dislocations. So this is a great alternative. You can really load up the weight here. Um, it's a great setup to play around with. I highly suggest you check it out, especially because if you already have a rack and pin and pipes, it's super cheap to buy. I mean, you can just use your bar, get a, you can even just get the pivot, use your bar, and do this single-handed. Or, I mean, there's lots of variations here you can do, but I, I prefer the handle. I mean, literally, this was like between $40 and $60. So these are super cheap to buy. Totally worth grabbing this bar. Um, I do this all the time. This is my 100% alternative to overhead press, which I can't do anymore um, just because of old injuries and the risk that the, 
the bar is when it's above my head. So I do this 100% of the time. It's a great exercise. I love it. Great alternative to the overhead press. Love to hear how you guys set up your Viking press, or if you do, or if you like this setup, or whatever. Um, let me know in the comments. Later, everybody.